Hey, this is Brandon with Access RV. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on one of the newer floor plans at a Flagstaff Microlite. This is a 25 BDS. We found this to be a really popular kind of intermediate sized trailer for couples. A lot of really good storage and cool features on this. So we'll walk around and I'll point some of those out. If you're looking for more detailed info about Flagstaffs and how they're built, we do have those quality videos as well. Starting at the front, you're going to be using a power tongue jack. It's got an incorporated loading light there. If in the event you ever do have a power failure, it's simple to remove this button on the top and you can still access a manual crank. What's nice too is usually trailers of this size, you're uh, limited to just two of the 20 pound propane bottles. This uses two of the 30 pound, so you get a lot of capacity with your propane like some of the fifth wheels do. Dual battery tray, and there's also another low lean light up here. You'll notice really white, uh, all of the lights interior and exterior are going to be LED. The newest 2019 micro lights incorporate a automotive windshield in the front to give you more light and give it a really unique kind of futuristic look to it. The 25 BDS has a really big deep slide with a U-shaped dinette. You can see how thick and wide that wall is. And instead of using a track driven, they are using an electric piston driven mechanism for the slide. So you've got superior hardware there. Pass through storage in the front. This model is equipped with a Murphy bed, so it's a little bit smaller in here where the base of the sofa goes, but it still does go all the way through and give you ample storage in the front. All four corner stabilizer jacks, and you can elect to have these with the power jacks if you chose. Coming to the slide, a big compartment on the back side of the pantry here as well as another one behind the back bench of the dinette. Also take note in here, it's normal that brands when they use aluminum frame in the walls, they'll still do their beds and dinette bases in wood. Flagstaff frames, there's an aluminum as well, so there's a lot less breakdown over time as you're using it for seating or sleeping positions. Frameless bonded windows throughout with a really good deep tint. Helps give you a little bit more privacy keep some of the heat out. Back here is going to be your power and your water connections as well as your dump station. This is going to use a six gallon gas and electric DSI water heater. So real easy to use, just flip a toggle switch for electric or for power and your water is going to start heating up. Detachable marine 30 amp power cord. And just above the city water connection, they use a quick antifreeze inlet so that winterizing is really quick and easy. You don't have to go through a lot of the bypasses like with other RVs. Towards the rear, spare tire with cover mounted on the 4-inch bumper. Roof ladder for access for storage up there to periodically inspect the roof. And that guy you see right there is the pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. If you ever wish to add that down the road, it's a really simple install. Most people can take care of it on their own. And then just behind the tire is the black tank flush, which is worth its weight in gold. And an exterior shower. And then one of the things that a lot of people really like on this model is a fully equipped outside kitchen. A lot larger exterior refrigerator than you typically see for outside kitchens. As well as a sink with hot and cold water. And I should turn on the light in here. Good storage. And then a two burner cooktop. And it's really easy to use too. It just folds right down like that. And then it's got the pneumatic arm there to help flip it back in. Two big oversized struts to help support the door. Close and you're ready to go. Forward of that is an outside mount for a TV bracket below the marine grade speakers. Then you're going to have an outside mounting bracket for the exterior grill. I'm sure that's inside the unit still in its cardboard box. And that gives you, right there with that yellow cap, an exterior quick connect for propane 
for that grill. And while we're down here, really sharp looking aluminum wheels. And these guys are using Torflex rubber axles by Dexter. Longer warranty, smoother ride than your traditional leaf spring. So a nicer touch than some of your more entry level brands. Large entry folding handle. I really like the new incorporation of these step above more ride steps. Really easy to use, a lot more stable getting in and out of. And while I have it in the in position right now, you'll notice a 20 foot awning and it is electric, simple push button with an LED accent strip underneath to give you a lot of patio light. Now we'll step inside here. The first thing you'll notice is how big that dinette is. Makes a secondary sleeping position that gives you about a double size bed. But if it is a couple's trailer, plenty of room to entertain if you have another couple or somebody that wants to come in here with you. And you do have the full length drawers that come out underneath the dinette. You'll notice just there on the cushion, a countertop extension that mounts to these two brackets in the kitchen to give you even more working surface area. And Flagstaff, rather than using the old traditional post and pedestal uh, table for their dinette, they're using a really robust system on a portable. Great thing about this is say in this seat, you're gonna put a larger guy. Rather than him have to push his gut into the table, you can just push it and give yourself more or less room. Take it outside to use it. And it's really easy to use if you're gonna make it into the sleeping position. Just flip this little yellow trigger here. The table will scissor down and back up to sit on those brackets to make the platform. Now Flagstaff, they really have a strong reputation above most for two things, more storage and more windows. So I'm just gonna do a quick pan to show you all of those. Big deep pantry or coat closet, all the compartments above. Good kitchen cabinets. And then you have two hanging closets on either side of the Murphy bed, as well as a drawer below. And what a lot of people really like about this is a big full door pantry with a motion sensor light they'll turn on as soon as I open that. Massive amounts of storage in there. And then another really big closet back here in the bathroom. So really great option for people if they're looking for longer stays but they don't want a bigger trailer. Now coming up to the Murphy bed, I'll demo that for you. I might have to hit pause here to do both hands, but it does come with two little swivel tables that just simply mount into that spot on the sofa. And these newest micro lights, they've now gone to having a flip up footrest in the sofa. Makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit back and watch TV. Now to make it into the Murphy bed, simply unlock the two D-rings here, one on each side to keep it secure while you're traveling. And then you'll look down, nice strap here on the front of the sofa to help jackknife it. And then simply grab onto the base of the bed, pull it down and it lays flat. And there you can see that front windshield and it does have some night shades over that as well if you want to block off all the light at night time. Really easy to use, and then just to put it back, it's just the reverse. Just lift it up. Put those D-rings in the wall. And then reverse the jackknife on the sofa. And you've got your sitting position back. On the door side of the sofa, you're going to have a 12-volt charging center. So for tablets, cell phones, you can charge those directly off of the batteries, rather than having to use short power or a generator. You do have a ceiling mountain bed curtain to give yourself privacy while you are up in the bed. Turning around to the kitchen, right as you come in, huge, huge deep compartment there. Really great spot down below for boots and shoes as you come in through the door if you want to track that around. You've got all of your control switches below. You can see we've opted this one with the tank heaters to make this one a better four season unit. 
solid surface countertops. And what's really nice, you look across the top there, flush mount sink and cooktop to give you a good working surface area without sacrificing any space. Dual basin stainless steel sink with a cutting board and a drying rack. And these new suburban uh, ovens that we're putting in look really nice, a little bit more residential grade with an actual glass door rather than just a steel front door that most people are accustomed to. And above that is your range hood and your microwave and your media center, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, uh, USB charging and an HDMI port. Directly above that is the Wi-Fi range extender. If you're on the outer fringes of a campground where the signal is poor, this will help bump it up so you get more workable Wi-Fi. Like I mentioned, all the lights are LED. Air conditioning is ducted, so you'll see all these ducts hanging down below. And then the refrigerator is a six cubic foot double door. And they use their decorative refrigerator front panels to make it look like cabinetry and give it a more clean look. Now back to the bathroom. Big angle shower. Apologize for the cardboard boxes. That front one's the barbecue, the back one's the box for the TV. Vanity with storage below. And a mirrored medicine cabinet above. And then even more, really, really deep cabinets here. This is impressive. Look at how large that is in there. Good spot for big duffel bags, rolled up sleeping bags, the really big stuff. Same thing with the motion sensor light when the door is closed. It'll turn off on its own. And then you do have a 14 inch high powered fan in the bathroom. And this is a cool new system to Flagstaff. They're using this, it's called the Shower Miser. And what it does is it recaptures that fresh water while you're trying to get hot water and you're letting all the lukewarm stuff go down the drain. Uh, this system instead recaptures that and returns it to your fresh tank so you're not wasting water. Really cool innovative system. Pan around here so you can see the floor plan again. And again, I'm Brandon here at Access RV. This is a brand new 2019 Flagstaff Microlite 25 BDS. If you have any questions regarding this model or Flagstaffs, don't hesitate to give me a call. I always prefer to talk to you in person and be able to answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. So I look forward to the next one. Thanks again.